Microsoft Link 2013. A first look at the Link 2013 interface. Let's take a look at this user-friendly environment from top to bottom. Right away you'll notice the minimize, the maximize, and the close buttons. You can add or remove a personal status note. You can add a photo of yourself or your organization would have added one for you. Your name is displayed, as well as your availability. You have available, busy, do not disturb, be right back, off work, or appear away. Your online presence is displayed just to the left of your photo and a colored bar down the left side. You have the ability to set your location as well as have others be able to see that location. You can also hide it. Below that you'll see the activity feed where you can see your contacts, conversations, and you'll see a dial pad if your organization has phone capabilities, and meetings or events that show up on your Outlook calendar. On the right hand side you'll see a cog and this is the options button. If you click here you'll get a link options dialog box where you can make changes and customize your link experience. You'll see where you can search for contacts to add them or add a contact using the add a contact button. On the bottom you'll see your contacts and you can arrange them by groups, by status, relationships, or new. And this is where people show up who've added you as a contact. That was a first look at the Microsoft Link 2013 user interface. It is intuitive and easy to use, but if you can't remember what a button means, simply hover over it and you'll see a screen tip. If you'd like to continue and learn how to make the most out of Microsoft Link, please be sure to check out our other videos.